greasy. But I'm super excited because today wasn't, I have a date. I'm trying to get back on the market. So I have a date with this guy. I'm really excited. He seems, he seems like really, really sweet, like super sweet. Um, I did meet him online, but it's been nice because all day he's been, <laughs> I really need to do something about the grease in my face. Let me do something. <sighs> there we go. Oh, much better. Okay. But yeah, like yesterday, I think he was like confirming. He went ahead and did a reservation, which I was like, that's so nice. Guys don't do that anymore. And then he um, hit me up today, like, because our date's in a few hours. He's like, I'm really excited for our date just to confirm. I like it when they confirm and they're like excited. Because um, some guys are just like so nonchalant about spending time with ladies, which is like a turn off. Um, so I'm really excited. Um, he's really skinny, really, really skinny. I am not, so it is what it is. Um, he's tall, or he says he is his profile. I guess we'll see. Uh, he said he's like 6'4". I typically, this is going to sound weird, but I typically do not go for tall guys. Not a fan because I am short. He's literally a foot taller than me. I'm like 5'5", five, five, he's like 6'5". But whatever, if he's a good guy, that's all that matters. Um, I don't know what he does professionally, but... I guess we'll see. Um, we're going to go to an Italian restaurant, Italiano. If you know me, you know I love spaghetti. I love pasta. I wish I got my wisdom teeth out not too long ago, but I think it's like almost healing or I could just like get some soup or something that's like, ooh, my lash almost came off. Something that's not going to like really irritate it much or I don't have to do much chewing and <laughs> not a steak. Um, but I'm really excited. I'll let you guys know how it goes. For the outfit, I just have on this like little pink shirt I thought that, I thought that would be cute and feminine just kept it really basic I'm such a basic dresser now so as I mentioned my birthday is just around the corner I had a bunch of points saved up at Ulta um I think I have a video still on my channel where I talked about how you can really rack up the points with Ulta and then get free perfume which is the goal of life or just free anything so with these points I decided to pick up one that is kind of basic honestly Obviously, you guys know, you can tell by the title, but this is a pretty basic scent, but I just wanted it. Thought it would be a nice everyday scent. I've been wearing it and I would love to tell you guys my thoughts on it. I really want to go through the notes because that's just not always the best representation of how a fragrance will smell. So this fragrance, of course, none other than another flanker for uh, Juicy Couture. So this is from the Viva La Juicy range. This is the new one. I believe it's limited edition. Someone told me that it was, which urged me to go uh, go ahead and pick it up. But this is La Bubbly. And just as the name sounds, it smells like champagne. That's how it smells. So the first thing that you smell when you first spray, the, well, actually let's start let's start at the packaging this is how the box looks i think it's super cute it's like an iridescent um well it kind of has like these iridescent bubbles on it almost like it's like under the seat <laughs> i know they're hinting at champagne bubbles with the bubbles on there that are kind of like silver iridescent then the actual box is more of like a light pink kind of a hue and then you have the trim which is a metallic pink gold of course for the viva la juicy because that's true to their name um and then with the actual packaging of the fragrance i picked up i really wanted a one fluid ounce but they only had the smallest size of being a 1.7 which it was like way too much i know this is not going to be like one of my favorite fragrances or something like that but that's the smallest size that they had in store and i wanted to pick it up in store it has this little thing that it's seated in and you cannot take this off this is like glued on there where it has like more champagne bubbles even though it doesn't look like champagne bubbles to me for some reason i don't know why am i getting like an under under the sea kind of a vibe i don't know it just kind of looks like that to me there's the bow the signature bow and then it has like a pin that i think you can remove if you wanted to if you wanted to, to, to pin it on something and then of course the signature emblem for viva la juicy right there and what i call is a ring pop cap um so yeah it has you know pretty much the same packaging but super cute limited edition so i've been told correct me if i'm wrong um design right there at the bottom so when you first spray this fragrance you're gonna get a burst of citrus energizing juicy orange like it has blood orange i believe in mandarin orange definitely it is an orange fruity scent when you first spray it i can just picture this being amazing 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 for summer 
spring summer or actually a very hot summer day like it's very energizing um almost on the side of like being unisex even though all the fragrances in this fragrance as well is like very girly sometimes fruity fragrances and especially orange can be a little bit too zesty this is like almost on the the edge of that but it it holds off just when it gets there smells really really nice this is almost also has a floral component so the biggest flower that i smell in here is going to be the freesia it's a fresh fun youthful playful kind of a floral note nothing that's too floral to where it smells like older or just too overwhelming no this is a very fresh playful floral note in there being the freesia which i think is a pink or a white floral so very fun uplifting adds a freshness to what could be kind of a little bit too zesty fruity with the orange in there now the star of the show you're definitely going to smell it, it coincides with the name and the packaging and everything this is definitely a very sparkly champagne fizzy pop kind of a scent this definitely reminds me of the bath and body works champagne pop and i'm actually going to put those together in a layering combination i believe that it's going to smell really really good but we'll have to put it to the test and see and if it does smell really good then you'll see me post it on one of my other platforms which you should be following me on tiktok and instagram but anyways yeah it definitely has a very fizzy sparkly kind of a scent to it um perfect combination of a it's the perfect combination of a fruity floral and the base they say that it does have like more woods and vanilla and that sort of thing i don't get tons of that when it dries down i think it really retains the orange juiciness throughout um and a little bit of the background of the floral it has a little bit of like woods maybe just a little bit just to ground it out a little bit and to make it not so juvenile because even though this is a very youthful scent honestly i could smell this on a 16 year old it does have an element in there. I don't know what it is really, but there is something in there to how it's composed to where you don't feel like such a little kid. Like you literally don't feel like a, a juvenile wearing it, even at my age. So yeah, I have to say I like it. It's great for every day. It's definitely more a casual scent. I can see this being very casual. I can also see it translating to a date night but just know that it's not like the most sexy it's not the most alluring but definitely it's a crowd pleaser this is something that a lot of people probably like and compliment you on i definitely think it's better for spring summer versus fall winter uh, i kind of feel like this is the wrong time for them to if they just released it to release it but i also think that a lot of people would like to receive this guys if you're watching for valentine's day i think this is a an easy choice as long as she's not too complicated and doesn't have a really large perfume collection i think she would really really enjoy receiving this one because again it is very versatile it's not offensive at all it's a dna we've smelled a thousand times but it just has like that the only unique thing is that it has that little fizzy bubbly champagne they're probably influenced by the fact that champagne toast is like a number one bestseller oh probably not number one but a bestseller at bath and body works so all in all we like her i'm not like regretting my purchase or anything like that i think it would just be like a mindless spray for me not something i would wake up in the morning and be like oh my god i can't wait to wear that but then also it's like if i'm running out the door and need something to wear i could definitely put this on but those are my thoughts on it um let me know if you guys have tried it what do you think about it and then also what have you heard about it i would love to get, know you guys opinion and i catch you guys in the next video peace wow this light is like really really bright well, I just want to update you guys. So I came back. I set you up actually. I don't feel like holding it. So I just got back. Well, I've been lollygagging, but I got back from my date. I had a great time. Um, the guy was really, really nice. Very, very kind. It's really funny. Our birthdays are actually only three days apart. I was like, wow. I was like, really? Because we were talking about signs. And he was like, oh my God, you're that sign? And they were like, okay, what? This month or that month? We we're like, okay. So then it must be around this time. Our birthdays are three days apart. Um, which is really, really cool. But we just went to dinner. Um, had a really great time with dinner. Chatting. Apparently, I didn't think he was like super interested at first. But then he was like insisting that we go somewhere else. I'm like, you know what? Why not? I haven't been on a date since the year of the freaking pig. I don't, know, I don't know which year this is for Chinese, but uh, Chinese is astrology. Sorry if I'm offending someone, but anyways, it's like, you know what? Why not go? He seems cool. He seems nice. So then we went to go get ice cream 
after and it was really fun and then we just sat and talked in the car but you know it was nice banter he's odd in the best way i think this is the first date so i'm not romanticizing him at all you know everyone's flawed i'm sure he's a serial killer <laughs> eek, eek. no but seriously though um i had a great time it was nice because like i felt like I, I have this issue with I had my wisdom teeth taken out so I couldn't like eat 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 and he was like oh you know is there something wrong with your food or like he was noticing that sort of thing he's like you know what they can you can order something else so they could take it back or you know it was nice he was attentive he seemed really really cool um he was like ask me anything he seemed really authentic um he's like he's nerdy I like it he's really smart he's insanely smart He's like into the sciences. His, any Think of any nerdy thing, he's into it. And then also like sometimes I feel like, you know, smugged off when people who are into like science or have those type of positions or degrees, when they hear I'm like more so into like arts and communication, that sort of thing. But he was like, oh, that's nice. That's cool. Nice to hear that you, you're liking what you do. And he's like, yeah, so it's good. You didn't have to take so many math classes because they are... <sighs> rough i mean like but not like coming from like a judgmental place which i thought it was nice because sometimes people are like oh you're not you're not into stem you're not an engineer you're not a doctor you know that type of thing which i don't like so that was cool um let's see what else dude i hit my knee so bad the other day actually i i I'm switching gears. I'm just talking to you guys at this point. You know, you know how I do. This thing that I'm holding my camera on right now fell on my knee, and it literally it hurts so bad. I was like, why, why have why have I been forsaken? It's so it was so painful. Anyways, the guy is nice. The guy I think is nice. He opened every door. He was like walking ahead to make sure that he opened the door, which I like. It's the small things, you know. You guys, you don't have to do much. It's the small things, even like. When we were going into places, he would make sure that he came around, opened my door when we were leaving, when I was getting out. Every single time, I didn't I didn't touch your door, which is nice. Um, I mean, it goes without saying, but of course he paid. If he didn't pay, he would have been paying anyway, because I would have acted like I was too going to the bathroom and ran out of there. I'm not paying anymore. I'm too old to pay. You know, we might entertain that when we're a little bit younger. You know, people trying to get on their feet. You're on your feet. You have you have a career, sir. You have a position. Um, so yeah, he's apparently single, to my knowledge. It seems he seems single. Um, never married, no kids. He's just him and his dog. Um, so it seems you know cool. He's not looking for anything serious though. That's the catch. That's how all the guy, the guys, they're never looking for anything serious. So. The guys, they're just never looking for the serious thing. He is, well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I was going to say, you know, how he looked or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's what's inside. Anyways, I just want to update you guys about that. And, and I know a lot of women complain that men don't show them enough emotion or What the heck was that? So, My TV um, just came on out of nowhere. I'm freaking out. Look for that in return. So I'm about to burn some sage. Peace.